I have a John Deere Z425, it is draining the battery after sitting for a day or two. I noticed it has four fuses I have fuse box, the second fuse from the left was melted but still good. I pulled the fuse and started and ran mower, however now the battery was not charging. I replaced the fuse and checked battery with engine running and was getting 13.8 DC volts into battery. So I know it's charging and alternator is working. But the fuse gets hot and when I pull it the battery is reading 12.7 DC volts with engine running. I was thinking voltage regulator, and replaced it with no change. Also with it shut off, and fuse in place, I took my test light and I have power through the red wire going to wiring harness to the engine, when I pull the fuse there is no power in the red wire. There isn't supposed to be any power going to the engine with key turned off. So why do I have power in the red wire with key off? Also why when engine is running that fuse gets very hot. Good morning my name he'll try to help you out here. It sounds to me like your alternator has failed. You did a great job supplying info here to start with. All of your tests were spot on. Keep in mind when there is an issue with battery drain we need to look at amperage draw more than voltage. Controllers will drain 5 to 12 volts but no amps, to prove that the alternator is at fault disconnect the main hot wire and see if the draw goes away. Alternators can charge perfect but drain a battery or overload a circuit with amperage draw just as easy. Okay, I just unplugged the alternator, and the wire going to voltage regulator, put fuse in and still have a draw at the red wire and wiring harness going to the engine. Can you tell where exactly this red wire is going or coming from? I have a suspicion your stator has shorted but I want to be sure. Also what are the fuse labeled as that is burning up? The red wire is going from fuse box to the harness plug going to the engine, from there it goes to a jumper wire and to the red wire in the voltage regulator. The fuse is not labeled, but after looking it up, says it was for the starting system. Not sure if that's right as I can start the mower without the fuse in place. I unplugged the plug going to the engine, and with fuse in place, I have power to the plug. It's like there is a short around the fuse box. I was thinking it was back feeding from stator, but after I unplugged it everything there is power still at the main engine plug. Head scratcher for sure. So we need to narrow down a circuit that can draw amperage dot which you are doing already. What about the starter solenoid? I have seen them short to ground before. If not that then disconnect the key switch and see if the drain disappears. I have a hard time with the key switch because normally they melt down when there is such a high draw. What is your serial hash? M0Z425B026184, product ID number. I checked ignition switch and it seemed to check out okay. I thought about the solenoid, so I will put a new one on and see if it makes a difference. I would disconnect it first. No point in throwing money away on parts that are still good. Okay, just put on new solenoid, same thing, still power to main engine plug, I unplugged ignition switch, key, and still have power at main plug. Scratching my head. Stand by. Let me dig up a wire schematic. Okay, will do. I should tell you that when my customer first brought me this mower, the fuse, second from left in the box, was melted but still good. Don't know if that helps or not. I did replace it with a new one, but it gets really hot when I run it. Did you figure anything out yet? 
Sorry man still digging. Thought I had it but my program said otherwise. They'll make a call again. Sorry. Okay. Ball is rolling now. You have a fax or email I can send you some stuff once I get my hands on it. Is my email. What are you thinking it is? Not percent 100 yet. Waiting for the schematic. Any moment now. Super sorry for the delay. 1.2 million in parts a year with my dear dealer and I can't get a stupid schematic. Option number 2 says they are sending over in 5 minutes. Yeah they sure don't get in a hurry. Quick. Need a serial hash. Never mind you already gave it to me. I was just fix on to send it. Coming at you. If you want you can call me at hash hash hashtag to talk this over. Good chatting with you yesterday. Did she start this morning? When you have a second toss me a rating so they keep me around another day thanks again boss. I checked voltage on battery this morn, it was 12.5, yesterday when I last checked it it was 12.6, so I think we got it. It started fine and alternator was putting 14.3 into battery when running. Thanks for all you help. And I will give you a good rating. Awesome. He'll email you the contact info for the Deer software. Okay, thanks, man. Can we close up this case? Sir, customer picked mower up yesterday, so I'm keeping fingers crossed. But I think we got it. Thanks again. Oh, don't know if you can help me on this one, Echo Weed Trimmer, had fuel problem, I put on new carb, fuel filter and lines, runs good laying flat. But as soon as you pick it up and point to the ground, it bogs down and dies. No adjustment screws on carb, so I'm scratching my head on this one too. Awesome. Can't close until it's right. Remove the muffler and check the cylinder walls for signs of scoring. Or. You may have accidentally put a hole in the fuel line when you replaced it. Already did the muffler, loosened it and took it off. Cylinder looks good. Fuel lines are in good shape. No holes. Now the carb I bought was a cheap aftermarket. And I'm thinking that's the problem. So I ordered an OEM carb and gonna see if that makes a difference. There are no moving parts in the carb that would make difference if it was laying flat or tilted. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was just reading and someone had same problem with the same model trimmer, and they did the same thing with the carb, and said it fixed it. I never had one do this before, runs good flat, then pick it up and it dies. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.